All right, of course, we know it. More snow is in the forecast, but injuries do not have to come with that snow. So we have brought in hand, wrist, and elbow surgeon at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Doctor, tell everyone your name. John Fernandez. All right, and you're going to help us. We know Chicago winters can be painful. Absolutely. But you're going to help us get through this, you know, as painlessly as possible. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, you have a snow blower in here. Uh, so what do things that people need to watch out for, be very careful when they're working with one of these. Well, we see 16,000 injuries a year from snowblowers like this. It's important to know what kind of snowblower you have, what kind of mechanism it has. You want to be careful with things like loose clothing because it can be caught in the blades of the snowblower. Uh, you have to be careful, particularly with the heavy wet snow, because it can basically jam up the mechanism. And so people will often, their instinct is to reach in, and that's when they'll have a hand injury. So we encourage people not to do that, to turn off the snowblower. Remember that the snowblower is always on, that the gear is basically always on. And instead, use something like a broom or a pole to basically unjam the snow so that they don't run a risk of injuring their hand. Even when the snowblower is off, the mechanism still has tension on it so it's very important to avoid that so you don't have a significant hand injury and we have little Rocco here we always want to make sure uh, to watch children around this time of absolutely well. true even though it might seem like fun uh, this is a machine that can hurt you very very quickly and so well, we we tell people that uh, anybody under the age of 12 or 13 you really shouldn't be operating a, a piece of machinery like a snowblower I want to get back to the injuries quickly you mentioned hands so is that what you see most frequently when it comes to snowblowers yep every year at our hand center we'll see about a dozen fairly catastrophic injuries where you'll literally have a multiple finger amputations or uh, worse than that, even a hand or wrist degloving injury. They even have it a, a warning sticker on the front of the snowmobile the, or the snowblower. The problem is that many of those are not repairable or reconstructable, and so in an instant it can change your life for the rest of your life. Wow. Well, this is the work. Let's get to the play over here. We have some right. snowboarding equipment. Uh, so what do people need to do when they're having some fun in the snow? So the, the main things are to look out for the conditions, not just the conditions on the mountain in terms of the type of snow that you're skiing. You also want to worry about your own conditions, making sure that you're well hydrated, making sure that you're not overly tired. That's when we tend to have injuries in general. You also want to make sure that you have the proper equipment. So Tom here basically is demonstrating these wrist guards. Uh, he has the proper fitting uh, helmet, which is super, super important to avoid head injuries. And he has proper fitting boots. Uh, with the snowboarders in particular, there's a concentration on hand and wrist injuries versus with skiers where the injuries tend to be in the knee. So let's well, talk about learning how to fall so you can protect right. your wrists and your arms and, and things like that. So you want to look out as you're uh, snowboarding, you want to look out where you're going to fall, uh, but in particular you want to avoid the instinct of reaching out with your hands and wrists as Tom is demonstrating and instead you want to do more of a drop and roll. You want to drop your center of gravity bending at the knees and you want to basically roll into the uh, elbow or into the form where you can distribute the energy of the fall. All right. Thanks so much, doctor, for being with us this morning. Now we know Thank how you. to snowboard safely and snow blow safely. So, uh, Anthony, I hope you were listening because we got some yes. flurries in the forecast. Important messages there. Michelle, thank you very much.